Hello, I'm Jan from McLeod Technology. We are here. I would like to introduce to you our new sales manager. This is Alex Gomez. Welcome, Alex, to McLeod team. So he will be part of our team. He will be handling the uh, marketing department. So he will be the one to introduce products because uh, I'm so busy with the product development. We have the product research and I don't have so much time to, to present the product that we develop. So we have a lot of things that we need to share with you. And Alex is here for this job. So welcome Alex to our McLeod team. Thank you. All right. Thanks, John. And what I'd like to do is for those of you in the audience that are not familiar with the MP2400, I'd like to actually speak about a specific detail about the MP2400. Now, what makes the MP2400 so special and unique compared to a conventional printer? Well, the answer is very simple. Does your printer have a spit box? What's a spit box? Well, a spit box is a simple feature found inside the MP2400 that will allow, as it's printing, to spit and then continue printing non-stop continuously for hours at a time. So, what does this mean if you had something like this for your fulfillment, for your production? Well, let's think about this for a second. If you have a conventional printer that is only capable of producing, producing one print at a time that will take anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes at a time, that's going to take a long time. As opposed to the MP2400 with a spit box feature inside the printer that will allow it to print non-stop continuously for 8, even up to 12 hours non-stop. Now think about that for a second. If you had a printer that can fulfill all this production nonstop, think of how much production you can accomplish within eight hours worth of work nonstop. The speed box is this part. This is the one beside the, the cupping station. The cupping station is beside there. You see it? The small square there. That's the cupping station. The cupping station is the one that sealed the printhead the moment it parked there. That's the one also that sealed it to use for the for the for the heat cleaning. Okay? But during printing, the printer cannot stop and do the heat cleaning in order to perform to make it work properly and to, to maintain the color. He cannot do that. Because it takes only few seconds to do that. So that's why we need a speed box. So this one is the is a, this is a spit box. Some people call it spiton, other calls it a uh, spit box, but other call it flashing box. So it refers to the same thing. This one. So that one is the one that where it goes and spit or flash, flash the head, the head, and come back printing with all the nozzle firing. That is the the pictures that maintains the color printing if you even if you are printing for how many hours okay now this is a challenge open your printer and check it out if you have a speed box if you don't have the speed box then that printer is not cannot print in a longer period of time that maintains the color even if you have a, a big printer a large format printer and it doesn't have the features I told you that is just like a uh, a regular printer that you convert and make it longer to make it like appear that is like a large format printer so that's that's the one thing that you should remember so if you have a moto you have a mimaki check these printers they have the speed box but those other printers no so especially the, the desktop printers it doesn't have that because they just print one page or how many pages two pages three pages five pages and after that you stop so when you stop it goes back here to his position and before it will start it will do the head cleaning to clear the nozzles and start printing again but if you have like a you know one roll of our film this film this is 325 feet 
longer. This is a 12 inch, but 325 feet. Think about it, if you print non-stop to this. So you got one design, you rip it, you send it to the printer, you got another design, rip it, send it to the printer. So the printing is just queuing, okay? Non-stop, that's what happened in one of my clients in Florida. They print like eight hours non-stop. And they're able to hit their target. They're able to hit their fulfillment because of that. So, the reason of doing that is because we have that called speed box. So, my challenge now is take a look of your printer. If it doesn't have the speed box, you have to think it over that this printer is not for production. It's only for short printing. It's fine. That's, that's a good printer. But if you want to have a production, industrial, professional printers, this is the printer.